Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a Primark haul with a try on. So let's get cracking. Hiya, how are y'all doing? I hope you're all well. Um, I'm off work for a week. Yes, right, love my job, but honestly, I was shattered absolutely shattered um to the point where on friday before about lunchtime i just burst into tears not for nothing had happened there was nothing right i was just so tired right because part of the problem is sorry i'm going to shuffle um part of the problem is right so it's not a problem it's the opposite of a problem in fact but um i've been made sort of room leader um, and which is great, you know, it's great. I share it with another lassie called Sadia. Hi, Sadia. Um, okay, so um, we're both room leaders, but she's only in three days. I'm in five days now because in order that we add, um, you know, the consistency of sort of people there, I agreed not, I agreed to work on my Thursday, right? So that means I'm working Monday to Friday. Um, Week four last, I did 48 hours. <laughs> last week, I think I did about 44 hours. So um, I'm shattered, right? I'm knocking on, getting long in the tooth, right? And it is quite, um, you don't think of it as being a very physical job, I suppose, looking after babies. But these babies are up to two years old and we're picking them up all the time, changing nappies. Um, cleaning up, tidying round, you know, doing activities with them. Honestly, I, I some days I'm absolutely at the point where I just come home and I'm like, no, I can't do any more. Right, so, like I say, it's the opposite of a problem. I love my job, but I was shattered. So I'm very excited to be off this week. I've not planned to do anything. Apart from on Friday, I'm going to meet my daughter because it's my youngest daughter because it's her birthday on Friday. Um, uh, happy birthday, Rose, in advance, right? Although I'll see you. Um, so this Primark haul has been sitting here for the best part of a week because I went, not this weekend gone, but the weekend before, right? Honestly, and I've, I, I got home with every intention of filming the video, but I was just so tired, I haven't done it. So I thought I'd better crack on and show you what I've got. Okay, so um, I've got some clothing, I've got some homewares, I've got loads of stuff, honestly. So I'll just start with some of my homewares because they're sitting here. Let me put my gigs on. Right, okay. I've actually got a dress on today as well. Um, although it's a bit chilly today, so I've put a cardio over the top. Um, although this ring light's probably going to make me baking up within minutes. But anyway, right, okay, where do I start? Right, okay, this backdrop... I love that vase there, that beige colour one, because it, I got that from B&M, but it reminds me of the ones you can get from H&M Home, but the H&M Home ones are really expensive, so people have been telling me, go to Primark, you'll be able to pick up some vases, so I did pick up some, but now I've got them home, I've realised not quite as big as I thought, so I'm not sure how they're going to fit in here, and I probably do need some bigger ones, but anyway, right, okay, I'll start with this one. Okay, so this is my first one. Really like it. It's a little squat thing. Um, it is just like a decorative vase. I'm not really going to put anything in them. Um, it's just I'm trying to get rid of all the sort of dried flowers. They're not dried. They're real um, flower roses, but they're um, meant to last for a year and stuff like that. So um, they were gifted to me. But these vases will be a heck of a lot easier to clean and to dust. So got this one anyway. This was only three pounds. I thought it were a bargain, an absolute bargain. So I really like it. That's I think that might be my favourite vase that I got, with the exception possibly of this one, which is very similar, but it's in glass. So this were a bit more, this were eight pounds and it's a bit bigger. But I really, really like these shaped vases. I just think they're so pretty really really pretty so got that one i'm definitely going to keep both of those um but there's a couple of others that i'm not really sure about so for example i got this little squatty one here this were reduced to two pounds from three pounds so this were in the sale 
I'll see whether I can make it work for me here, but if I can't, um, that might end up going back. I quite like it that it's got all that like crackly effect on it. I don't know if you can, if the camera is picking that up, but I do quite like it. I just hope I can get it to work for me. But I thought the three together looked quite cute. So you'll have to see whether this makes it into the backdrop or not. It might just be a little bit small. I told you I'm starting to get hot now. Now that I'm under this ring light, I'll show you some of the stuff I got. Right, okay. This thing, right, is going to have to go back because it had this sticker on it. It was reduced from £3.50 to £2. Went to peel the sticker off it and look what's happened. I could turn it that way, I'm, I, I suppose. I'll see whether that sort of lasts but um, or makes it into the backdrop. I quite liked it, but I liked it better without that on it. Like I say, it was just taking this label off. Can you see on the back of the label? That one well thought out staff at Primark. That's sticking it on the outside. But yeah, it were only £2, so I'll see whether I can get it to work for me. It's literally just a ball ornament with a hole in the bottom. So yeah, that's another one. I might have to take my cardio if I'm baking. Sorry, you'll be able to see me anemically white arms now. But anyway, and this is all creased up from my card here. And my brass straps showing what am I like. Anyway, then when I was waiting at the till, I saw these. They were sort of on the outside bit. Um, so I picked them up. They were only £3, but they're lovely little stickers. These are for work. I'm definitely taking these into work. I don't know how many you're getting them. Foam stickers. But the kids love stickers. Absolutely love them. And I thought there were so many in them. They'd last us quite a long time, you know. So, um, keeping those. They've got little butterflies, flowers, uh, tiny weeny little birds and things. Just really liked them. And like I say, we're always using stickers at work because the kids love them. So, got those. They're a definite keeper. Next up, I bought myself this little brush. 90p. It's going to go in my handbag because sometimes, right, I haven't got a brush with me and my hair gets matted up, right, okay. It really needs doing. I need it dyeing because um, I'm having to use that spray stuff at the moment because all my roots are to about there now. But um, I might make myself an appointment this week and go get it done. But because all the ends need chopping off, um, sometimes it gets tangled up, particularly at work because I keep it clipped up at work out of my way. So I thought this would be perfect. Little brush to stick in my handbag. Really liked it. It's got spongy, you know, on the front. So um, I find they go through my hair better. So for 90p, bargain. Then I bought myself um, a couple of pairs of leggings. Right, so they're just plain black leggings. But the ones I've got are viscose. I do prefer the viscose ones, but they just did not have them in. So I had to buy these cotton ones. They were only £2.50 a pair and I bought them in a medium. Um, so they are the long ones, but I've never tried the cotton ones from Primark before. The viscose ones are brilliant. They last forever. Absolutely last forever. So um, yeah, there's those. I bought, like I say, I bought myself a couple of pairs. I just thought I'd stick them in with all my other ones because I can wear leggings at work, which is brilliant. They're really comfy. And I thought they might be a bit more cool during the summer. You know, I, like I said, I picked up the viscose ones if they'd have had them, but they just didn't have them in my size. I think they only had like an extra large or an extra small or something. So I went for the cotton ones anyway. I'll see how they wash. Because that's the problem in it, it's how they wash. Because the viscose ones wash and last for ages and ages and ages. But um, I'm not that optimistic that these are going to last as long. But I thought they'd see me through the summer anyway. So a couple of pairs of those. Then I saw these and just, I really fancied them. I love the colour. They're just wash mitts, you know. But I do appreciate a wash mitt. And quite often the wash mitts that I find are the ones that have got like kiddie patterns on them. Not wrong with getting the kiddie pattern ones. But when people come to visit me, they think I've lost the plot. You know, they go into my bathroom and they're hanging up his, um, a kiddie patterned uh, wash mitt. So, um, they had these in all different colours, but this was my favourite colour. I love that gingery brown colour. Reminds me of the autumn, which is my favourite season. So, I got those anyway. Two for £2.50. I thought it was an absolute bargain. Be using one, stick other in wash. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. I always have one. 
so great knit using sustainable cotton even better fantastic okay got those then right i bought oh that is that my other leggings no it's not right okay so i bought myself a couple of cardigans now i bought this i've got this right in but except my buttons on mine are on the sleeves as well as down the front and the buttons are like a goldy color right it's just a basic cardigan right like that right very basic i bought in an extra large now the reason i bought in an extra large is they didn't have a medium or a large but i thought you know what big at work when it gets to cooler weather it'll be nice to sling that on i won't be worried about hugging around my middle um because i have to wear a clean like cardigan top and pair of leggings every single day at work just because I end up, I come home, I've got either um, whatever activity we've done but, uh, and food, right, that the kids have like got onto you. So they put the little hands on you and their hands have got food on them. If they're eating or if we're doing an activity, they'll put their hands on you. So sometimes I've got corn flour on me. Sometimes I've got um, a pasta, you name it, stuck to me and on my shoulders where I pick the babies up and they're like, the little faces touch your shoulders. So I'm constantly needing new cardies and new leggings. So I got myself that one anyway. I'll try these on for you, but they're not that exciting of a deal because I did buy them for work. I'm picking up my bag, which I also really love. This bag, right, I bought at the till. It was five pounds, but I thought it were a great sort of summer bag. This is the sort of thing I'd take on holiday if I'm going abroad, you know, but I'm not planning to go abroad this year. Or maybe next year. Or maybe any year. I love being in Britain, right? If it gets too hot, I just can't cope, you know. Oh, there's my other pair of leggings there, right? Both of them £2.50, both in a medium. So, happy with those. Then I queued up at Tilt and I seen some pens. Where's my other pen? There it is. Right, okay. First I seen this one. Thought I'd get it for my pal at work because she really likes... What's it called? Is it Stitch? Is it? It's that that character there I think it's stitch but i seen it and i thought oh i'll get that for shannon so hi shannon if you're watching this because she really does like it and we're always short of pens at work this were only one pound fifty so it wasn't an expensive present shannon but it's for you anyway love right so i got her that and then i bought myself this one now they had all harry potter house pens for two pounds i went for slithering go for naughty group that's what i thought <laughs> I'm not really naughty in my everyday life. So I did think, yeah, go for the naughty one. Why not, right? You know, it, it'll make a, like um, a contrast to the person I tried to be, which is not naughty at any given point. Just really, really liked it. I like the green as well. Green's one of my favourite colours. It never used to be, but as I've got older, I absolutely love green. Let me take it out of the box, see what it's like. Thing is, everybody will know it's my pen now, won't they, at work? So, it is a pen, in it? Please let it be a pen. What do you do? Is it a twist up? Oh, no, it in Look, like that. That cap will be gone. Right, I'll just put it on there. That'll never see end at pen again. But I just really liked it. So, that's my pen. So, Shannon's got her pen and I've got mine. So lovely. Really, really likes it. Love the green. And I thought £2 and everybody will know it's mine. Nobody put it in your pocket at work, all right? <laughs> that's my pen, right? It, we all do it, though. You put pens in your pockets. Then you get home and realise you've taken half a dozen pens with you. Right, next up, I bought some bra sets, right? Okay, really liked them. Um, I won't try these on for you. Ain't nobody needs to see that. Like I always say, even I don't want to see that. Do you know what I mean? But I bought these two sets. They're in different colours, but both identical. And I bought them in a large. They're non-underwired. Like, they're just like bralettes. But in this silky material, I, th I thought they'd be dead comfy. So this set has got black, um, sort of a nudie colour, pinky nudie and a cream. And then the other set, put one on there. The other set is this one, identical they are. It's got this like cornflower blue colour, like a peachy, and then a lighter peachy colour, sort of um, and a different sort of 
peachy nude colour. But they were like, how much were these? They weren't pricey at all. Let me have a look. £10 for three. Bargain. This is stuff I wear at work, right? So, um, I mean, I've got nice push-up bras and things like that. But when I'm at work, I just can't be bothered with them. I just want some at comfy. You know, no, I, nobody at work cares what I look like. I mean, most days at work, I'm unrecognisable compared to this channel. To the point where I've realised I'm not exactly straight on here. Hang on. There, that's slightly straighter. I've, I, when I've shown people this channel at work, when they first met me, they were like, is that you? Right. Because, <laughs> because at work, I look like I've been pulled through a bush. I don't do my hair or up like that. It, I'm clean, but everything's just as it is, you know. So thought these bralettes would be fantastic. And at £3.33 each, I thought that's a bargain. And they feel so soft and comfy as well. I've only got a small bust. I don't need like, you know, big bras, you know, that sort of hold me up. I mean, honestly, I'm as flat chested as old. So, I mean, really flat chested. But anyway, now I'll show you some of my other bits. Oh, I'm going past. Okay. So, I bought myself a couple of other bits, right, that I thought might be okay for here. I bought this little plant pot thing. But I'm looking at it now and it's not that exciting, is it? But we'll see whether it works out for me. This will reduce from £3.50 to £2. Um, I like the colour of it more than anything else. But I sort of, the look I'm trying to go for is sort of pots, you know, rather than other stuff behind me. So it's just so easy to clean. So we'll see whether it works out for me. If not, I might find something else to use it for because it is a bargain at £2, you know. And then this vase, which I liked an awful lot in the shop, but now I've got it home, I'm not keen on. Has it got scratches on it? No, it's just a bit of muck. Right, okay, that's out of bag. I think it's from Sticky Labels. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got like sticky label bits. This were £4, right? Like I say, I'm after shaped vases, but when I look at that compared with that one there behind me, I don't think it's that exciting. It'll be nice as an actual vase. So I might just keep it, put it in my cupboard for an actual vase. It's got this beige colour inside and it's more cream on the outside. It's quite tall, which is what I'm after, more tall ones. But I much prefer the other ones, if I'm honest about it. So um, I don't know whether that's going to make it into this backdrop. We'll see. I'm off shopping in um, uh, where H&M is in a few days time so i'm gonna have a trip over sort of to leeds and um have a little look round h&m home and if they've got some bargain vases i might pick myself some up you know just treat myself a little bit not that i don't ever you know what i mean i'm making it sound like i don't do that but because i've got all these you know clearly i do but i just thought if i can get one or two of the ones that i actually love then it might stop me buying all these random ones, you know what I mean? And um, that maybe aren't quite as good, you know, because I could have probably spent as much buying all the little bitty ones as I would have done if I'd have just gone to H&M Home and bought the actual ones that I like. But anyway, we'll see what it works, what works out here. I like the little round ones. I do love those. Um, then I got myself some candles, right? So I got this textured pillar candle. Just thought it was lovely. Um, this is more sort of um, one of those candles that you put out when other people come. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't smell of anything. It's unscented. It were only two quid. They had it in loads of colours, but I absolutely love that beige colour. Yeah, I, I really, really appreciate a beige that tells you the age I am, right? I'm into beige. Okay. Oh, this is sliding out. Oh, good. I'll be able to show you it. Great. Right. Okay. That's it. Thought it were really nice. Yeah, they're right. Don't smell of anything. More like fly spray. But anyway, I'm sure that'll be lovely. You know, when people come, I'll be able to like put out candles that look really pretty. You know, the, the number of times people come, I don't need that many candles. But anyway, <laughs> and the people who come with me, kids, they know what I'm like, you know, nuts. Okay, the other two candles I bought, I love these bubble candles. So I bought this one. This was £2.50 for this. 
So this is a bigger one. I just love these. I got one that were actually scented in some in beauty subscription box. I think it, yeah, yonks ago. And I loved it. Absolutely loved it, but it was tiny. Um, but I much prefer the size of these, even if they are unscented. So I got that one and then I bought its baby. Right, okay. And I thought the two colours would be cute together. And I thought they might go nicely together on like a plate, these three. Do you know what I mean? That sort of look. This little one was £1.50, also unscented. But I just really like candles that look pretty together. So I've got those for at some point when people come, I like those rather than me random nonsense candles that I buy all the time from other places. Right, what else have I bought? Okay, bought a couple of cardigans. Now, my palette works bought the identical cardigans. We didn't know at all. So, I've already seen what Sadia looks like in these. But um, I'm hoping I look as good. Right, they're a bit creased up from being in bag for a week. So, they're just these long cardigans, right? So, it's a long sleeve. It's ribbed fabric. And it's got it's got a long body with a split at either side. You won't believe this. She's bought the two colours that I've bought as well. So this is the first colour I bought. I bought it in a medium. It was £10. Has it got any buttons down front? I don't think it has, has it? No, it hasn't. So it's just one of those edge-to-edge -edge cardigans. Bloody neck, I'm going to have to get that hanging up. Get the creases out. But yeah, I bought it in this like blue colour. And I also bought it in black. Now, I bought it in black for work. But Sadia's worn her blue one at work as well. So I think I might get away with that. Right, so... Um, also bought it in black, also in a medium, also £10. It's identical. Thought I turned it inside out then, but I haven't. Okay, so it's just one of these longer cardigans. I appreciate a long cardigan because it covers my bum when I'm walking around, you know, when I'm just wearing my, like, my work top. So, yeah, both of those, £10 each. I thought they were great. They're super soft. I think the bluey one might be softer than the black one even, but they're really nice cardies. I saw them and I thought, oh, they're definitely a bit of me. Right, I'll really like those. I might keep this one actually for outside of work. Just when I've got like a t-shirt on and, you know, and a pair of trousers and I want to cover my bottom a little bit. So, um, got that one for outside of work and that one for work. See, I had work on the mind when I went shopping weekend before this, didn't I? Then I bought myself this shirt. And I thought it were lovely, right? I thought it'd be really nice, although it is incredibly creased after being in bag for a week. So I bought this in a size 12, it were nine pounds. It's just like a cotton striped shirt. It's got a long sleeve with a button on the cuff bit at the bottom. And then it's got a long body with buttons going down the front. But I just love the contrast of the stripes. So it's got the stripes going down and then on the pockets they go sort of horizontal. So I just really liked it. I thought it'd be super cool in the summer. You know, when I when I want to wear something that I'm not sort of exposed in, but um and also that's a bit longer. You better sling that on with a pair of leggings and a pair of sandals. Bob's your uncle. You'd have a really casual and comfortable outfit, you know, without any effort. So really, really liked it. I think the stripe's like a grey colour. So very, very happy with that one. I'm hoping that suits me. It's vaguely see-through, so I'll have to wear a nude brow with it. But I just really liked it. Thought that's a bit of me in the summer, that, you know. So I'm trying to get stuff that's more my age and not so silly. Okay. Speaking of which, <laughs> she said... <laughs> So I've just told you about the um, the wash mitts <laughs> and then I bought myself these. Right, I couldn't resist. Four microfiber cloths in the sh with Bambi on them. I'm going to open them and show you them. They were literally £2. So they come like packaged up like this. But I just loved them. I thought the colours were lovely. And I just like the idea of having something I can actually use that's a bit cutesy. You know. I don't have to hang it up in my bathroom. I can use it in my, you know, kitchen and stuff like that, these. Oh, let me open them. Okay, so this is my first one. Oh, isn't that cute? These would be lovely. If you had a baby, you know, and you just wanted some little, like, um, a washcloth for them, they'd be so cute for those. Be nice little gift as well, those ones. Really, really like them. What's my other ones? 
Oh, here's Thumper. Right, okay. Love that. Then I've got this one, which has got Bambi and Thumper on it. Really cute. Like that one as well. And then this last one, which I'm hoping has Bambi on it. It does, in fact, have Bambi on it. So, lovely. Really like those. 50p each. I mean, it's a bargain, isn't it? You know, they're just so cute. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. I'll probably struggle to actually use them. But I did like them an awful lot. And I thought for £2, it was such a bargain. I couldn't resist. So, and then the other thing I bought. Is this my last thing? This is, in fact, my last thing. I bought these because I just thought they were great. And I thought the kiddies would love them. So, these are also stitch. But the a set of little measuring cups. Right, but they're on like um, a hoop. So the kids will be able to like chew on them and do whatever, you know what I mean? But they're quite, and they're quite cute. The stitch, yeah, right. These were two pounds as well. A little measuring spoon. So you could actually use them in your kitchen for measuring spoons. But I mean, I don't have anything to measure in reality, right? Because most of my food is just one of these. I throw it all into the pan, which reminds me, somebody's asked me to do like, um, cooking video or slimming video or something like that. A couple of people have asked me to do similar things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to film that this week. So the meals that I eat for slimming because I'm trying to slim. Right. Whether it works out for me is anybody's guess. But anyway, so you get half a teaspoon, one teaspoon, half a tablespoon and one tablespoon. Perfect. And I just thought they were dead cute. So they, they'll probably be going into work. Kids will like those. I'm sure they will. You know, it's just a little cute thing that they can play with. They like playing with anything that they can feel in their hands and put in their mouths and they'll be fine with those. So that's all my things, right? Most of my clothing I'll accept is pretty much workwear. But anyway, I'll insert the try on now and I'll come back to you. Okay, I absolutely love this blouse. I really, really love it. I want to tell you as well, I've put one of my new bralettes on and they are so comfy. I'm not even kidding you. I've put the most nudie colour on. Um, yeah, the most nudie colour. If I'm honest, I could have gone away with a medium. But, um, but yeah, I'm not mad about it because it is so comfortable. I can imagine these are going to be great for work. I'm really pleased I've got quite a few. The shirt is just so comfy, so relaxed, so summery. I could imagine wearing it open under things, rolling the sleeves up, or just having it long like this. Even over leggings, I don't mind it, you know. Um, it'd be nice over a pair of shorts, you know, more sort of uh, cycle shorts or cropped leggings. I think it'd be really nice over that. Maybe not in black, you know, but in another colour. Now, these leggings, I don't mind at all, you know. I'm really surprised because I love my viscose ones that I get from Primark. Like I say, I don't think these are going to last as long as, say, the uh, viscose ones. But they do feel okay. When I was pulling them on, I thought, are they very, very see-through? That's the only thing, you know. Can you see me bumming them, you know? Because if you see me knickers, I won't wear them for work. Nobody needs to be seeing that, you know. And I don't mind wearing ones that are slightly more see-through with something long like this over the top. But not when I'm at work where I'm wearing a top that finishes here, you know. And then when I turn around, everybody can tell what pants I've got on. That's no good, is it? So, yeah, like both of these, though. I wouldn't mind getting some more of these leggings, you know, for like every day, you know, not for going to work, but maybe for at home because they feel so nice and comfortable on and they do feel a bit cooler than the viscose ones, so fantastic, but by far my favourite is the bralette, you know, yeah, honestly would highly recommend if you're into bralettes and not full underwired bras, because I can't give any guarantees of what they're like, because I never buy them from Primark. Um, but I'll tell you what, the bralettes are great, absolutely great. If you're into them, Primark's your place at the moment. So I'm going to put on a top and then try on some of my cardies. Okay, so I've just put a little t-shirt on that I got from Shein. 
it's just got lacy sleeves on it but um uh, it doesn't really go with this but i wanted something that would show it up you know when i try the black one on particularly these cardies are just so good absolutely love them love that they're oversized i mean this is the medium um yeah did i get medium or did I get large no i got medium didn't i let me check yes i did in fact buy medium and it's very oversized very stretchy you know the sleeves are super long but i i bought cardigans that are worth you know that i've paid a lot more than this that are not as nice as this, you know. Yeah, I really like it. Really, really like it. I think it's gonna be such a great one, especially like this cardigan I'd wear instead of like a jacket if I were going, you know, shopping through a day or something. Um, and the other one's gonna be brilliant at work. I'm gonna feel great. I wish I'd bought more than one of those, you know, for work, the long ones like this. So yeah, I wish I had because I love them so much. I might have a look while I'm over in Leeds this week, see if I can get some more, because I just think they're great work cardies, you know, as well. So yeah, I'll try the black one on that's the same as this. Okay, this is it. Yeah, love it. Um, this don't feel like it's quite as big as the other one, but I'm not bad, it's not a bad size at all. It fits me fine, it's gonna be great at work. You know, another one to throw in with all the other black cardies that I've got for wearing at work. So, yeah, very, very happy with it. You know, for what I need it for, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, lovely. I'll show you the back. Yeah, I just think it's a really nice, nice weight, nice thickness cardigan. So, lovely. I'm going to try the other one on that is in the extra large that I have got. Maybe I've got five of them already, but you know, I'm going to try it on. Or oh, five very similar to that, but I'll try it on anyway. Okay, it's just a basic card in. Uh, I don't mind the size of this. I know it is oversized on me, but I don't mind it at all. I'll tell you what though, the buttons took some undoing. The buttonholes are very small for the buttons, you know, so um, that took some manipulating. But anyway, yeah, it's okay. Great for a work card, eh? I don't mind a bit of work where, you know, it means that me, me day, you're at work so much time, aren't you? You know, five of me, old, five whole days I spend at work, so I might as well have some work clothes that are comfortable. So, yeah, all in all, very happy with them. They are very basic. I'm not going to give you that, but I'm really pleased with what I got. Higher. So, it's not the most exciting um, try on I've ever done, but I mean, honestly, really practical stuff that i really really needed so i'm i'm very happy with them to be honest i'll be keeping all my clothes but i'm not sure about one or two of these sort of homeware things um and whether they're going to work out for me so i'll see what fits in behind me and um and you'll be able to see as well at some point you know and then what i don't like or what don't fit in might end up going back but um it'll be one or two things at max but anyway, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!